As governor of the great state of Washington, it is my honor to present my friend and co-conspirator, Senator Ed Murray, the 2012 Maggie Award for Elected Official of the Year. On November 6, 2012, Washington will become the first state in the nation to affirm on the ballot the vote of the legislature to legalize marriage for gay and lesbian couples. And it will be testament to the conviction and tenacity and legislative skill of Senator Ed Murray. For the past decade, he has shepherded a series of bills through the House and Senate to expand the legal rights and protections for Washington's LGBT citizens. These laws include anti-bullying legislation, the Gay and Lesbian Civil Rights Act of 2006, and marriage equality this year. Ed is a consummate legislator with interests and skills extending far beyond civil rights. As chair of the House Transportation Committee, he led the passage of the largest investment in our state's history to support roads and transit, a measure the voters affirmed at the polls. He was a leader in the effort to double the Housing Trust Fund, and for the past two years, as chair of the Senate Ways and Means Committee, he wrote some of the most challenging budgets in our state's history. Ed Murray is a gay, Irish, Democratic legislator. You know the type. He cares about civil rights, protecting the middle class, and compassion for the poor. And if you cross him, you might feel his wrath, however briefly. He says his values stem both from the social justice traditions of the Catholic Church and his personal struggles as a gay man to understand his role in America. He will tell you that Cal Anderson proved to him that a gay person could be elected to public office, just as John Kennedy demonstrated to a generation of Americans that a Catholic could be elected president. Ed's a family man, dedicated to his partner, Michael Shiyosaki, and his large Catholic family. He was born in West Seattle, grew up in Lacey, educated in Portland, worked in New York, and then came home. Ed, we're glad that you chose to live, work, and run for office in Washington. Otherwise, we would not have been able to give you this Maggie as elected official of the year. Congratulations.